This lesson deals with supplemental problem 9.2. You can find this problem in the course ebook in chapter 9, Supplemental Problems, on page 2. Given the circuit with two voltage sources, two resistors, and an ideal diode, can you solve for the voltage across the diode and the current through it? In our strategy for figuring out the states of the ideal diode, we're going to replace it by a resistor and label the current from anode to cathode. Then if this current wants to be in this direction, we're going to guess a short, and in the opposite direction, guess an open. Now when you have multiple voltage sources in a circuit, all the same polarity, but different sizes, usually the bigger one wins. And what I mean by that is that it will supply power for the circuit. Resistors can only absorb power, and now we're going to assume that this source absorbs power. In other words, current wants to flow in this direction. So ID1 is negative, so I'm going to guess an open circuit. Again, this might not be right, but we'll start with that as our first guess. Now label everything you can on the drawing. Given the open circuit, there's no current in the 5K resistor and in the other 5K resistor, so the voltage across it's going to be zero. We'll go around here, we'll let the rise in voltage equal the drops. So I have a rise in voltage of 7.5, a rise in voltage of zero, a rise in voltage of VD1, a rise in voltage of zero, and then a drop of five. And again, zero times 5K, zero times 5K is zero. Solve for V sub D1. And we have 5 minus 7.5, and that's a negative 2.5 volts. And that checks our assumption that it was an open circuit. It's also the value of voltage that we're going to be solving for. And then the current is equal to 0 because it's an open circuit. And this is supplemental problem 9.2.